Next, though, the man who is leading a government review of the way we work has been speaking to this programme. Matthew Taylor's been in Nottingham to hear growing concerns over the abuse of casual contracts. He's focusing on rural industries, factories and what is known as the gig economy. Now that's where people who are self-employed get casual work through phone apps. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball has more. Remember the times when you could leave school and expect a job for life? These days the world of work's become so much more complicated. Many industries rely on labour agencies who hire workers more flexibly as demand ebbs and flows. They're often self-employed and don't get holiday or sick pay, but the government's concerned that some casual contracts are being used to exploit people. I've been on the zero hours for a little while, yeah. It's not fair. Some people have to take it because there's not any other choices out there. And it's not fair on them sorts of people. People have got families, people have got rent to pay, people are scared of becoming homeless. Look how cold it is out here now. Um, and that's purely the reason why it takes, so people are being taken advantage of, really. Let me have your email. Here at ACAS in Nottingham, people are calling this advice line on employment rights in tears. Listening in this lunchtime, the man who's leading a national review of employment practices. I'm worried about the fact that there are people who don't understand what their rights are. Are people being exploited? why they're being exploited, how, what can we do about it. Second, clarity. The rules can be quite complicated and people can often make mistakes accidentally. I'm also interested in helping people have a stronger voice. These are human beings and people can often feel very vulnerable in the workplace. But could protecting workers mean more red tape? A question for 300 East Midlands employers at the Love Business Expo at Donington Park today. You shouldn't use a, a sledgehammer to crack a walnut. Uh, where, where there are problems that are, that are poor, it's important that they're highlighted and they're dealt with properly. Uh, but I think we also need to recognise that businesses, employers, employees and the wider community, it's in everyone's interest to have, to have something that works. The docking of 15 minutes pay if you're a minute late. Yeah. Who set, set that up in the first place? I honestly don't know is the truth. I, I don't know and remember this, started. Mike Ashley from they Sports Direct people. being grilled by MPs over a string of complaints that agency workers were exploited at his company's vast warehouse in Shirebrook. I think the Sports Direct story is, is one of many I've heard, which is about people's concerns about vulnerable workers. So whilst my review won't be commenting on any individual company, one of the things we are concerned about, the Prime Minister's asked us to look at, is those people who work in these particular ways, but they might not have the same kinds of rights that an ordinary employee would have. Matthew Taylor is now touring the country to investigate modern employment practices and the government says his review should create an economy that works for all of us and not just the privileged few. Jeremy Ball, BBC's Midlands Today, Nottingham.